are looking for a sweet spot to get some pictures of your bike for uh, Triathlon Magazine Canada. Yeah. And I'm like sort of visualizing a, a grassy mound where the bike would just be like up and majestic and stuff. And yeah, I'll probably just get some really awesome slow-mo shots of you taking pictures of it. Like on a knoll. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Why didn't Doubt do slow-mo on a knoll at Golden Hour? I guess he's some knolls. bike for the year. Um, I was lucky enough to design the colors on Project One, which was super cool. Last year I got one of the stock black frames, but this year I got to customize it a little bit. So this is probably my favorite color of blue at the moment. My favorite color changes all the time, but this is the current favorite. Um, and I wanted it to, I think it goes pretty well with the gray and the white just stands out really well. So everyone can see the track as I'm riding by. Um, super lucky also to be supported by SRAM and ZIP this year. So this is the new SRAM Axis component set. Um, single gear in the front, it's a 50 and then a 1033 in the back. So 12 gears in the back, which is different from last year and um, all the years prior when it was 11. Um, I was a little worried at first about not having enough gearing in the back to like get up big hills, but it's uh, on the couple of rides I've done been totally fine and uh, kind of cool not to have to toggle between two gears in the front. Um, yeah, these wheels are new too. I've never ridden on the 454 ones with the cool squiggles, so <laughs> excited about that. Um, Eric just redid this whole front end and put a lower stem on this morning that helps a lot with the handling just to have the base bar lowered a little bit. And the uh, we put a bit of a bigger spacer on just so the bars stay relatively in the same spot so the fit didn't change. but. With a lower base bar, I can kind of corner and handle the bike a little better than I could before. Um, I'm not super comfortable on a TT bike, so I'm still working a lot on that, especially after being on the trainer all winter and not having any bike skills practice. So um, it'll definitely take a few weeks just to get comfortable and trying to chase Eric around and not <laughs> let him draw me too bad. Um, but yeah, I really, really love it. It's beautiful. It's the nicest bike I've ever owned, I think, and uh, I'm excited to race with it this year. How's that? All right, we're using the B camera, the picture camera, to do our outro here. This was a successful shoot. Just used up the very last of my battery on an adorable dog, and uh, the sun's gone. Yeah, I think it was a success. We have uh, to see all the footage, but that's Eric's job. Thanks to Kathy for her sweet bike stand. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have just been like holding it up, wouldn't have been nearly as cool. So. Yeah. Thanks All right. for watching. Later. <laughs>